All right, let's link with uh, my colleague Abdi Aziz Hashim, who is uh, in uh, the county of Nairobi. The Azmila Umoja One Kenya Coalition just had a press briefing and uh, Abdi attended uh, the event. Abdi, good afternoon. Good afternoon to you too, indeed, Irene Mchuma there in the broadcasting house. We were here for the better part of this particular morning, listening to what the presentation of Azimio Lomoja One Kenya entailed in terms of the performance of the Kenya Kwanzaa administration. They have scored the government a D minus. Now that to that particular retrospect has been guided or precipitated by the high cost of living and the recent fuel um, increase that was increased just the other day to uh, 211 a petrol here in the capital. They are majorly saying that the cost of living has been exacerbated by the rise in fuel prices. We were anticipating the Azimio Lomoja One Kenya to also speak about what will happen in the bipartisan talks. You do remember on Monday there were a little bit of jittery reactions from both quarters, that is the Azimio as well as Kenya Kwanzaa. They did not touch on that particular matter but what they have clear, uh, clearly stated out uh, this particular afternoon is that they will be having a major announcement um, and there will be engaging the public in the next course of action in the coming days. This also, uh, given that they have collected over 10 million signatures, that they will say they will now put it to use. Um, it depends now where they will take those particular 10 million signatures, but initially it was supposed to go to the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, IBC. As, as we do know, IBC is not... Um, fully constituted without commissioners that was among the agenda on the bipartisan talks and now they have clearly also stated that once they give the audience their next course of action um, they will not this time around they are changing the attack they will not going they'll not be going back to the streets but what they will be doing is engaging the public on their next course of action when it comes to the signatures it remains to be seen if they will take the legal route or go to the independent electoral and boundaries commission ibc on other matters, they have talked about the taxation that, uh, the, that was uh, clearly stated out by none other than the Treasury Cabinet Secretary, Professor Njuguna Ndogo. And on June next year, once we hit the other next financial year of 2024-2025, you can see a number of taxation in terms of the VAT itself. It will be raised from 16 to 18 percent in the coming year. And you know what that means in the coming year, given that we have seen uh, the high cost of living has uh, truly seen many Kenyans act. Back to you, Irene. Thank you, Abdi. Good to have you, Abdi Aziz Hashim has just attended a press briefing and he has highlighted a number of issues that Azmiola Umoja One Ken Coalition intends uh, to look uh, at uh, this uh, as uh, the coalition will be part uh, of the bipartisan talks.